We'll just start because I can't sit around and wait till the yard work and things happening around my studio goes quiet because I live off of a very busy boulevard. So here we go. Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another planting with Julian. There's a lot of noise happening around the studio, but my time is very limited here in Santa Monica. I do have to teach my clients of the day in less than two hours and then I have to put together some artwork to photograph and get them all packed up and packed in my car with the whole shop because I'm I'm gearing up to van the next three days so the next three days I will be at the markets I won't be able to do any filming for the main channel and then I'm going straight into the Las Vegas work week so I can't do any planting videos and then I'm coming straight back to Santa Monica right into two days of vending so there won't be no filming and then I am going to be gearing the collection up for me to be absent while I travel to Africa so this is the only time for me to do it so please bear with me and give this video a big thumbs up there's a few things that I want to take care of one being this philodendron it is I want to say outgrowing its small little planter so anytime I go away from the collection I like to look just briefly overview of my collection to see if there's any plant that needs to be shifted or moved around especially when I do these planting with Julens because I don't do them very often if I'm gonna be with the plant babies I'm gonna want to do little things like this so this is a plant that's been living in my bathroom and I feel like I have to talk really loud over this floor so pardon me um, I'm gonna just literally put it into this planter I'll pair it with a bigger stake because I don't want to touch the plant once I plant it up in here I'm just gonna have it just grow bigger with this setup and I just don't like to shift plants around if I can avoid it so we're just gonna do this really quickly and then we're gonna get into some fun planting I like to have cocoa coir on the bottom of my planter also, shout out to my grandma for my gorgeous apron I really love it and um, I hope that I'm able to get some fun cute prints for upcoming planting with Julian merchandise but we do still have the green cactus aprons available which I use for vending every now and then or at least I did a lot last year those are available for sale so I'm just literally without disturbing the plant too much we'll just take it out of this there is a lot of noise happening it's 70s it's sunny it's perfect weather honestly like I can't ask for anything better for me, Abby, and the plants because Las Vegas is over 100 degrees so there's no such thing as hanging out outside and all of that root system still looks good so what I'm gonna do is make room for my DIY Coca Cola pole I have a bunch of them just sitting and waiting for me to stick plants up on and already I, I love the look so what we're gonna do is just backfill and I'm looking forward to see how it does one month from now when I'm back from my trip but I think it's gonna do perfectly fine in this planter of course when I want to film there's all this background noise but I just I don't have any other time to do this planting video so it is what it is I want to make sure that the aerial roots or the nodes are touching the pole and then we're just going to secure it. Love my Velcro tape because you can reuse it and have it any length that you like. Maybe we'll do one up here while we're at it. just there and I'm just happy I'm able to dedicate what little time I have to do this for the collection especially I do want to take a few plants to Las Vegas when I go in a couple of days so take a look at that like I love that I was able to put it in a bigger planter and then we have it already in a large cocoa core pool so I wish it luck and I think it's gonna be half pepperomia prostrata my string of turtles 
I didn't plant this up in my last planting with Julian just because it's a very finicky plant. I mean, look, I'm touching it and it's just falling apart. So I'm just gonna check the root system and then we're gonna put it in this white plastic planter. And I'll probably have it go back right underneath my fern because it's been doing good there. The last one that I had, my original one, was living in my bathroom and for whatever reason it did not like living in my bathroom so this is my second repurchase would i repurchase this plant again i don't know hard to say this is um not a common plant and it's expensive too so we'll see how it does i'll check on it when i'm back at the end of the month And we'll see what this plant looks like by the time this video goes live. I don't want to mess with it too much. It is a very finicky plant. Comment down below if you have this string of turtles. And where do you have the plant? And do you find it to be an easy plant to have in your collection? or a dramatic plant. So here we go, another repurchased plant and I wish you luck. Just stick that on the top here. Glad I took care of that. And I'll water all of the plants at the end of the video. The next one I want to do as I stare at plant babies probably I guess the orbifolia this is my second one my first one is struggling in my greenhouse it's very small compared to this one and I just purchased this today but I want to set it up while I'm here and doing a planting video and I don't want to like I'm just gonna have it live in the soil that it came in and we'll see how it does. If it looks like it needs more TLC, like I need to change up the soil, then I will. What's this growing around it? Like a biodegradable planter. Okay. I wanna see if I can get it a little bit more deeper. I don't mine it and then some of mine <laughs> I just have so much soil I'm using empty planters to help me house my soil okay let's mix this up that looks better some perlite I don't see any perlite in the mixture that it came in. Okay. Plastic planter for this Calathea. I don't know where to put him because my original small one was living in the bathroom. And it now has all brown leaves. And the humidity in there without my humidifier on is 85, trending around there. Okay, I think this is going to be it for you. Let me take more of this biodegradable stuff out. It looks funky in here. And I wish you luck. Calathea, this is my second one and if it doesn't do good, then I'm not buying it again. I'm not a fan of Calatheas, but I do like the Orbifolia. Good enough for me. 
All right. Moving along. I don't mind that soil. We mix it with mine. Okay. Hmm. Need to figure out which ones I'm gonna put together for Santa Monica and which one is going to Las Vegas. And also the planters that it came in, if you haven't watched my video prior to this, my part two birthday plant haul, it came with nice white planters. And I just might not have it drilled and then just stick the planter back in. I'm just living on my nice plant shelf. Whoa, look at the condition of the root system here. Not the greatest. Okay. Abby, stay here. Okay, you know, I'm going to keep whatever this plant looks like. It's in rough condition. I just honestly feel like these are rescues for me. <laughs> and I wanted the planters, so these will probably go to the Las Vegas Collective. Wow. Look at this. This does not look good at all. Let's give you some space. Whoa. Okay. I needed to see what was going on in this planter. Especially if I want to take some to Las Vegas in a couple of days. So this is the time to do it. I don't know. I don't like the way how this looks. This is a nice black nursery planter, by the way. I will probably keep it if I want to propagate something big. And take a look at this wooden pole. I could cover it in cocoa coir if I wanted reuse it wow I don't know if this is so necessary for a house plant I don't know it's kind of extreme you don't need something this big and thick so I've been wanting to do this for a while because this plant has been with me for a couple of weeks I see a baby growing right here so let's be careful Perlite. I'm gonna add some worm castings. We don't want to ruin the plant. Would you like to come out? Whoa! Okay. I'll reuse the soil, but let's add some worm castings. Maybe you hanging out, be a good girl, okay? And there was a baby right here. So I'm glad I caught that. Now, all this had leaves. And if you watch my previous videos, we know that the sun got it while I was vending. And it is what it is. I bought the plant at 6 in the morning at the market. I vended all day. And by the time I was in my car driving home, this whole section had dark brown leaves. And I had to prune it off. But since then, there's some new growth happening in all those sections. So if that ever happens to you, because it's, it's possible if you have a plant in strong sun, or even it doesn't have to be strong sun, just sun in general, and it burns up. Just prune off the leaves and leave it like this because you just never know. I now have all new growth in every single part that had a leaf. So I'm really hopeful about that. And here's the baby. What can I do? There's one root here, so I'm gonna be very careful and we'll have it all joined together. So 
I don't know how many leaves I ended up taking from this plant off at least 10 that's unfortunate so now that that is out of the planter I want to bring up my current mother plant and then we're going to see who gets grouped together for Santa Monica and who goes to Las Vegas wow wow this thing is uh, grown into the moss pole like literally I hate to have to do this so okay you know what because it's latched onto the pole which is what it's supposed to be doing we, we are just gonna if you look really good here you can see the roots grown into the pole so it worked really hard so let's just leave this as is we'll work around that and then I don't know what to do with you we'll just I don't like this section is brown we're just gonna throw you out the thing is I just don't know if all of them can fit in this planter. I might have to do a bigger planter here. Hmm. Because, say for instance, if I take this out, that has to be from the pine tree. Okay. It's becoming crazy now. So we'll use the Walmart planter, but first I want to add worm casting. I've been wanting to do this for a while ever since I brought that plant home from the flea market a couple weeks ago. Ooh, nice breeze. work around this part of my mother plant because it works so hard to get staked up so I guess I want it a little bit higher because of this bottom leaf add a little bit more soil see what this plant looks like one month from now or by the time this video goes live let's see I'll probably share it in the upcoming pot of fame hopefully it does okay while I'm traveling okay so I think what I'm going to do is looking at my three sections here I think I'm gonna take this one to Las Vegas and then try to put these two because they look like they kind of match with these plants here and fill them in so I think I'm gonna put this section here like that looks pretty good right my battery's about to die and then we'll put this on this side I think is what I'm gonna do okay so let's switch out the battery We're back with a fresh battery and if you can't hear the fountain very well it's because I think I maybe might have to take a look at the pump because I don't think it's working properly it's like very slow so I'll look into that when I'm back from my trip so I have four sections here I have one section here here and then the two big sections here and I feel like this one doesn't match as well because they're all from different mother plants so I think this is the one that I'm gonna take to Las Vegas so I'll set this here on the side and then what I'm gonna do is Put soil and it's gonna be interesting to see this nice and full. So let's backfill 
get it upright as much as possible and then I'll go in with my velcro tape and then we'll put in my moisture meter there's certain plants that I like to just have the moisture meter live in it's just easy for me to walk by and see what's going on you know what it'd be an interesting project to see how it looks like a year from now if it survives and I get white planters out of it sounds good to me but I'm very impressed how my original mother plant just like latched onto my moss pole. Super proud of that. But we'll see when this section that got burnt from the flea market sun, when it unfurls its new leaves. But I'm really surprised like how fast new growth came in because I haven't had the plant for a month. Okay, I think we're good like I feel good now let's go in and stake it up cinch it up nice and strong and tight onto the pole and I wish it luck so let's start with this section I like to go like as much as possible when I first get the plant all together let's go here see if I cut it big enough that looks good to me yes Ooh. looking good looking good I also like to make sure that however they're placing the planter that I'm happy with their placement okay so I don't know if I need, you know what, I'll do one more down here to just keep it tight and have the aerial nodes touch the pole. Using my new scissors. Mm -hmm. I'll go here at the base. Okay, I'm happy. No more fussing. This is it. I wish you luck while I'm traveling abroad. Hope you like your new roommates because they're all from different mother plants. We have four sections in here. And you know what? Let me get this one to be right up on here. Maybe it'll help. Also, if you're interested in any of the things that I use on the channel, I have my Amazon shop and you can find the link in my description box. Ta-da! What do you guys think? So that's definitely something you can do if you have the plant and you repurchase the plant, you can get more of. And I mean, they're all from different mother plants and you can tell and it looks crazy. But it's okay. Sometimes crazy is better than ordinary. And I'll I'll figure out where to put this. Pally is now it's gonna live in my studio because it's in a bigger planter. But maybe in the bathroom while I'm traveling, we'll see. But let's set this on the side. All right. Wow, we have so much soil here. Let's put this monster out on Sonia back in this planter and then it'll go in the planter it came in from the grocery store. But at least I got to like look at the root system and see what's going on. Give it some better soil mixture. And then once it gets bigger, then I'll take it out of that planter it came in and then stake it up on a pole but for now there's nothing for me to stick it up with because i could easily you know have something like this or smaller i have smaller stake poles too so this will go to las vegas let's see how it does okay 
I'm looking around to see what I have to do next. Oh, my Cebu Blue. I don't want to mess with it. Really, I don't. But I need to see what's going on with the root system. Because I'm curious. Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do... It'll still live in a nursery planter. For now, I'll put it back in here, but I think I'm gonna put it in a white nursery planter. And I have to be very thoughtful of where this is gonna live. I don't know, maybe in my bathroom while I'm traveling. This whole time I've had it for a couple of weeks. It's just been in my patio. My original Cebu Blues were living in my patio and they both died, my huge mother plants. So for now, okay. I just needed to see what was going on under there. My Euphorbia. Trigona. Whoa. My grocery store plant baby. I felt bad for it. It was like the only one and we're gonna be very careful because I don't wanna hurt myself or the plant. I don't know how long it was living in the grocery store. It was the only one. I said, you know what? I'll rescue you. And I bet there's a part of the plant on the bottom that's hiding under the soil. Let's see. And I feel like this is not a cactus mix. This is like house plant mix. I'm gonna put it in a chunkier mix with some pumice. Oh, don't get prick. My poor fountain. Ever since I came back from Las Vegas, it just doesn't have a lot of power. I'm gonna have to take out the piping and the pump and see maybe it needs to be cleaned. Okay, so here she is. And I'm gonna put it in a terracotta. And we're gonna have a chunkier mix here. So, you know what? Let's try to put this soil in this planter. We'll keep this for upcoming projects. This soil is fine with me. Some nursery places I dump the soil because not good but this is fine to me this is good to be reused I had so much soil from shopping that I gave a bag to my plant friend Sonia and my plant friend Tanya so it didn't go wasted so glad that I can dedicate some time for the channel and the plants. Let's set this on the side. All right. Terracotta. And I have some chunky mix here that I think is going to do great. shift to prepping for the weekend of vending. I have to load up my whole car. So I'm so glad that I dedicated some time today. I'm so glad I dedicated time today. This is my third video of the day. So if you haven't watched Pot of Fame, if you haven't watched my birthday plant haul part two, check it out. It's the two videos that I filmed right before this one. 
this is my third video of the day look at this look at this you're gorgeous Sound off in the comments down below if you ever purchased or rescued a plant from your local grocery store and what was it and was it a common plant or a rare plant i'd love to know in the comments i think that'd be really fun to read interesting to see what kind of plants grocery stores bring in i remember when i was in arizona filming for the channel i was like looking at plants at midnight because that one grocery store was like open 24 7 and they had a lot of plants to look and choose from i'm trying to think if any of the plants that i got there is still alive okay obviously when it comes to cacti being this tall it needs time to take root so i don't want to mess with it too much but honestly you're gorgeous look at this that is going to wrap up today's video i took like a half an hour pause to clean up the planters and the soil and once i'm done with this video i'm going to go with my blower and blow through and continue on with the rest of my day i have to teach my clients of the day and gear up for vending weekend i have lots of earrings to put together bookmarks photograph them load up my whole booth and art in the car so it's a very busy day but give this video a thumbs up because this is my third video of the day and I feel like this was something I definitely wanted to do before I step away from the collection for pretty much the whole month of August. So let's see what the plants look like when I'm back from traveling a month from now. And I'll do an update on any of the new growth on future Pot of Fames. So the Monster Anansonii, this one is gonna go to the Las Vegas Collective with a few other plants that I'm bringing for phase four. So stick around for that. New beautiful Euphorbia Trigona is gorgeous and very fun grocery store find calathea orbifolia my second one let's see how it does especially with me traveling probably the worst time to repurchase a finicky plant and i was glad i was able to stake up my philodendron and with a bigger stake and a bigger planter i felt like it was time Cebu blue i just wanted to see what was going on with the root system before i leave and then my um, Pepper, my Peperomia prostata, my string of turtles, is finally planted up. It's been with me for well over a month, probably. Yes, it's been with me for maybe five weeks or so, and it's doing good, and it's living right underneath my fern here, my big burst nest fern, so it's probably going to go back there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before I wrap up today's Planting with Julin, I have to do my favorite thing on this series which is my plant, plant friend shout out of the day is going to Vania I hope I'm pronouncing this correct and she says here a week ago I love everything you do thank you so much for supporting the channels hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do another planting with Julen and this is probably my last planting with Julen before I travel Las Vegas Africa Las Vegas and then um, so I probably won't do another planting with Julen for another month probably five weeks from now will be like maybe the next time i do a planting with julian if that so probably like two months from now we'll see we'll see because i need to see what the collection is going to look like when i come back and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing some fun things happen to the collection a plant baby from the grocery store super cool a lot of repurchased plants you guys seen a lot in today's video so hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on the main channel if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day stick around because i'm definitely going to want to do uh, planting with Julen Las Vegas Collective Phase 4 because I'm gonna bring a couple plant babies to the Las Vegas Collective when I'm back in three days and I want to share the process of me growing that collection so even if it's a few plants it'll be nice to check in from Las Vegas and you can see what the collection is currently looking like which is exciting for me because I haven't been there for two and a half weeks and it'll be nice to introduce some house plants to the Las Vegas collective. We're just in Santa Monica. I would love to be on the beach right now, but time is ticking and I have so much to do with the collection and for my resin art business. And if you're interested in any of my resin art from small to big or any of grandma's handmade goods, you can reach out to me on Instagram, Planting with Julin, Jule of Hawaii. 
and if you don't have instagram you can always email me or come to any of my pop-ups and i would love to meet you in person i'm signing off from beautiful sunny santa monica california bye